Yo, what is going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Today I have finally uh, decided to record episode 3 of Thrift of Glory. Um, so I haven't uploaded one of these videos in a very long time um, and that's simply because um, I was actually going to stop doing the series but because people have been commenting on my videos and sending me messages uh, and commenting on pictures and stuff asking for the third episode um, and when I did a poll on Instagram it went really well um, I thought I'd just have to do um, make sure I continue with it. The only reason I was going to stop is because I haven't been going to the charity shops and stuff very much anymore um, or the car boots so I'm finding it a little bit difficult to pick up items but recently I've decided to go a little bit um, and pick up some items so I have some new items to show you that I picked up um, and then um, yeah at the end I will show you what's sold. If you don't know how this series works or you haven't seen any of the other episodes before basically I started with £10 uh, picked up two items from a charity shop or a thrift shop um, and then with that ten pounds um, I basically sold the items well I no with the ten pounds I bought the items sold those items to obviously build a bigger balance um, and then you know after fees and stuff we working our way up from ten pounds to one thousand pounds um, and then so yeah that's basically just how it works so the more money I have obviously the more items I can buy um, and yeah, that's just I'm just trying to run you through like show you where I pick up the items from how much I kind of pay for things um, And then like you'll see mistakes along the way as well, which you can try and avoid um, So yeah, hopefully you enjoy the series if you haven't seen the other episodes then make sure to go and watch those uh, Episode 1 and 2 are on my channel. They've been in the playlist for thrift of glory um, but yeah Anyway without further ado, we'll get into the items for today um, so today I actually have two um, Hard Rock Cafe t-shirts. I picked these up the, like literally the other day. Um, I, at first I thought they were like not in good condition, um, but I realized that they're brand new. It's just the way that the print is that they're meant to look like. They're not in good condition, if that makes sense. Um, so this first one just says Hard Rock. They look very similar um, as most Hard Rock Cafe t-shirts do. Um, and it's just got a print with like this bit in the middle. If you can see what I mean about the print, it's like the way it is done. It looks like um, it's it's kind of faded, but it's not. It's brand new. Uh, and this is uh, from Mallorca. That's what this says anyway. The Mallorca one. I paid £3.99 for this from a place called... Uh, Debra, you can see there. Debra, um, I wouldn't usually go to this place because it's not like I'm on in the same area as the other ones that I go to. But I thought it was a nice piece, and I saw like I know people like to wear these, or like I've seen them on eBay before, so I thought I'd risk it and pick it up. It was a bit of a risky one, especially because it was three pound ninety nine. But you know, I thought why not? Um, so that's the first item. The second one, as I said, is another Hard Rock Cafe t-shirt. This one, again, they're both black, obviously. Um, Hard Rock Cafe. This one is actually from a place called Saint Martin. Um, I don't know what where that is, if I'm honest with you. Um, but it's along the similar lines. The print in the middle is a little bit more yellow than the other one, but it still has that similar sort of effect to it. Um, it's got like a grey... Um, I can't actually remember the name of this like type of print, but like where it kind of sticks off the shirt. It's not like a screen print. It's like um, I don't know. You'll you'll know what I mean. If I, I don't think I'll be able to show that on here, but yeah, it adds like a nice 3D effect to it. Same design as all, as I said, and brand new as well. Uh, this one was two pound ninety nine. God knows why they decided to price them a pound difference when they're exactly the same T-shirt. But that's just charity shops for you in England. Um, and taxing as always, two pound ninety nine. But um, I thought I needed to pick up some items and I'm hoping that I can get you know a little bit of profit from them I'm not trying to make big bucks with each uh, item I'm not trying to like flip something from two pound and make like 400 pound or something I mean obviously that would be great, but um, yeah I'm just trying to slowly work my way up to give myself more money to work with um, This next item is actually a champion jumper and uh, to be honest with you I've never found a champion jumper before um, I found a couple of champion pieces, uh, but this is actually a hoodie, and I actually really, really like this hoodie. If you follow me on Instagram, you may have seen this, because I did post a picture of it on my story. Um, I really like this. I think it's quite nice, quite unique. Um, hopefully, it will sell. Um, it is uh, just a hoodie, and it's from Harvard Uni University. I always think these these look quite nice, especially the crew necks, but obviously, there's a zip-up hoodie. Um, so yeah, Harvard University in like a burgundy colour with like a white, it's like nice, it's like a patch as you can see, it's like different patches. Um, and then on the sleeve it says um, this, it just has this patch on it. 
it looks kind of a bit like Harry Potter, I'm not going to lie, but you know. Um, and then on the hood, I think this is pretty cool. It has a little hut H um, patch. So yeah, I think this is really nice. And then uh, obviously, um, where's this little C on the sleeve? There's the little C on the sleeve. I think that's always a nice little touch with the champion things. Um, and this is a size XL. I forgot to say the size of the other ones. One was large, one was XL. Um, <clears throat> this was from uh, Deborah as well. And this was $4.99. As I said, don't usually go to this shop, but I was near there. So I thought I'd just pop in while I had time. So I just popped in there, picked up a few things. Um, can't complain about that. Um, but yeah, as I said, it was a bit expensive. Champion the size extra large it would fit me um and you never know i might wear it who knows um so yeah hopefully you get like 20 quid at least for that and um, i mean i thought maybe if it was a different like university or it was like a reverse weave crew neck then it would have obviously gone for a lot more um it's in really nice condition though so if you are interested make sure to let me know in dms um so yeah that was the champion one um this next item also from the same place they actually had quite a few bits as well like shame about they were a little bit more expensive than usual but you never know like what what you can get for things and this uh actually i'm not going to ruin it but yeah this i picked this up i wish this was my size because it's really nice um but i mean it doesn't really matter because i'm selling things on this series anyway but i think this is really nice it's just a plain black nike crew neck as you can see, um, the tag fell off, but I have it here somewhere. Uh, oh yeah, it's that one. It was $5.99 for this. I don't know if you can see that. $5.99 from Deborah as well. You know, if you, word of warning, Deborah, they are taxing. Don't know if it's just my area, but avoid that. Don't avoid them because they obviously have some nice things. Right, well, especially this time anyway. But um, you've got to just kind of look around, and obviously, different shops in different areas will price different things. Um, but yeah, this was $5.99. It's in really, really good, really, really good condition though. So I thought, why not? Um, and yeah, just simple Nike crew neck. It's got the little thing. Nothing much going on with that really, apart from yeah, apart from the little white logo. But yeah, as I said, pretty much brand new condition. Um, can't complain about that really. And then finally, I actually picked this up ages ago, and I completely forgot about it. So I thought I'd chuck it in the series because. Um, well, I don't know, I just kind of bought it not thinking about the series and then I was like, well, I might as well throw it in because uh, this is a pretty wavy jacket, you know. I need, to, I need to update the items more so this actually gets a bit of notice because I assume it's just... I haven't updated this in a while so it's kind of just like sitting around on Depop servers somewhere no one's actually looking at it so I'm gonna take better pictures of it like I've been taking my recent pictures and um, and yeah make sure that this gets sold because I think this definitely will sell especially in time for like festivals and stuff because people like wavy jackets like this um, this is an Adidas track jacket as you can see a simple one white stripes down the sleeves and then just the Adidas originals logo here but what I think is pretty cool about this is it has um, a white stripe, a like a turquoisey stripe, and then a purple stripe. I think that looks pretty dope. Not gonna lie, it is actually like size large or uh, size large, um, vintage piece. Really nice. I might actually wear this because I think it's pretty wavy. Not gonna lie, with like a white t-shirt or like a, even a black t-shirt. Um, I think this would look pretty nice. Um, but yeah, size large. As I said. Um, to be honest, with these things, it's kind of hard to tell whether they're actually real or not because, especially, I think this this one is. But a lot of you get a lot of stuff which just like all the old Adidas, a lot of the old Adidas, Adidas stuff, especially the stuff I got in that 25 kilo box. They all have like random tags, especially if it's from like different countries, like European countries. Um, so you can never really tell whether it's like real, but because it's like bootleg, um, it's like and it's vintage. You you know you can always kind of get away with it it's not like i'm trying to sell a fake product um but yeah i paid um i got this from sue rider um and basically it was listed as five pounds um but because i used to volunteer i mean i i don't volunteer it anymore because um i've done my work experience um but because i did volunteer that i got 25 percent off um i also bought something else but that's going to be in the personal collection um so that I like the price on that. I was I don't even know what twenty five percent of five well three pound fifty. There you go. So it's three pound fifty for this. Hopefully you should get a, a decent amount, make a little bit of money on it. Um, but yeah, that's uh, that's the end of the showing the items. I'll get on to what's sold now. Right, guys. So um, 
getting into like what's sold. Uh, unfortunately, I have some bad news. Only one thing has actually sold, um, and it's quite lucky because that actually sold last night. Um, so I was gonna only just do a video explaining new things I picked up, but I thought I would, um, well, obviously include this because it sold last night. Um, I've made a Excel spreadsheet and uh, I'm pretty happy with it. It's basically just every time I buy an item, I put it in and put it what I bought it for. And then when it's sold, um, I obviously put what it's sold for, minus the fees, minus the shipping. So we get a total um, like a total of what we actually got in, back in the bank. And then I've got made it so um, it adds up automatically how much we have in the bank. So it means I don't have to keep working that out all the time. Um, but anyway, the uh, Nike uh, crew neck sold. I need to post that in a minute. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty happy with that because obviously um, I only had it up for a couple of days. Um, so yeah, that sold. Um, it actually sold for £18 shipped, which I was pretty pretty happy with. I was going to put it up a bit lower, but I thought I'd start it higher. Um, but yeah, £18 shipped. Um, so I'm just reading off the spreadsheet here. Um, so the fees were £2.61, shipping was £2.90, this will be on the screen now, um, and the total that we got back was £12.49. Um, we paid £6 for this, so we doubled our money, can't really complain about that. Um, and then, obviously at the end, I'll put the current balance, but it is looking quite good at the moment. We have over 50 pound in the bank. Um, I need to go out and buy more items with that money, obviously, but we've still got a lot of things to sell. So I'm really happy with the first few items that we managed to sell because obviously that made, gave us a really nice, like, um, a really nice set of, um, like a really nice amount of money to uh, to work with um, going on into the future. We weren't stuck with the same, like the couple, first couple of items for ages. I mean, I actually still haven't sold that hat, which I'm a bit, a bit disappointed about. I think um, I just need to kind of make sure I'm refreshing my items and uploading them more. Um, but yeah, that's that's on my half, not like, obviously the fault of the item, obviously. Um, but yeah, um, so yeah, pretty happy with how it's going so far, and I hope you guys are enjoying the series. I really do apologize uh, for people who were kind of pretty excited for the series, and then I've just ended up not uploading it. But don't worry, I'm going to keep uploading it now. I'm going to keep on top of it. I've got more time on my hands at the moment. Um, so I'm going to be able to go to the charity shops more, pick up more items, and obviously show you what I pick up and what's selling. I'm keeping really on top of Depop at the moment. Um, so hopefully we get some good sales and good money in soon and we have more money to work with. Um, and then um, I'm not, like, obviously I need to see like what you guys want to see, but if... I know it's a thrift of glory, but I did say at the beginning that maybe I can move on to some like buying and selling other stuff. But if that kind of defeats the objective for you, then um, yeah, then I won't do that at all. Um, I'll just stick to thrifted items, but obviously it's just going to take a bit longer to get to the end goal. Um, but anyway, um, also just quickly while I'm waffling on, um, I put on my Instagram that I was going to be doing a 400 subscriber uh, q and I'm now at nearly 450 subscribers, so really, really happy about that. Um, even like, considering I haven't really been uploading much, um, so happy thanks to all the new subscribers and stuff. Um, I'm going to save the Q&A till 500, it just makes a bit more sense. Um, so start sending me your questions now because obviously that could take a little while to get to 500 but it gives me a bit of time to get some questions um, up. So if you have any questions, make sure to comment them or DM me on Instagram at Josh Vlogs and I'll be sure to get back to you um, and be sure to include it in the Q&A because I don't want to have just like obviously one or two questions in the Q&A, we need to have a decent amount. Um, so yeah, make sure you ask me any questions and uh, as always if you liked any of the items you saw um, Depop is at Josh Mush and um, yeah, follow me on Instagram at Josh Vlogs uh, So yeah, I'll see you next time guys. Subscribe if you're new. Peace out. Bye